have put a call out to the community to say her name, to lift the, the lives and the voices of the too many black women that we've lost to violence. And we're calling folks out here to celebrate, to lament, and to be in radical joy and love together. Say her name! Say her name! We have our four mothers, amazing, incredible, strong black women that carried this work forward. Opal Tometi, uh, Alicia Garza, Patrice Colors. This movement was imagined by them, and so we don't want to leave black women behind. Joy alongside pain and suffering is the way that our people have always survived. It is what has gotten us through the middle passage. It is, it is not denying the darkness, but knowing, as our ancestors said, that weeping may endure for the night, but joy cometh in the morning. This is not just a moment, and until we redirect the $40.1 million of the police funding into uplifting our communities until we abolish prisons, then we will continue to fight. This is what democracy looks like. We protest out of love for each other and for ourselves. Um, and we want to center that because it is what will fuel us. Anger can, can burn you out. And we want to be, be righteously angry and we want to be holding each other in love. This nation was built over and against the bodies of indigenous people, of black people, of LGBTQ and trans people. And so our joy comes from imagining a world that is better than we are now, and we believe that that is possible. And so we're here to bring it in and to celebrate it even while it's on its way. So Independence Day was never independent for all of us, right? It was bought and it celebrated over and against us. It's important that we disrupt that narrative and say Black Lives Matter. Say her name! Yeah.